Well, so not everybody's cut out for a big dog. So, you know, they're kind of big and their their tail can literally knock you over. I don't know. They have big okay. turds. <laughs> they poop a lot. And they poop a lot. <laughs> but I pick up the dog poop and it's, I don't like it. Yeah. Or any poop, actually. I have to... I have to take it out every single time, <laughs> and then I do it again. Well, I keep vacuuming, and then it fills up like halfway again. How much is like how much is in it? How much hair? That much. <laughs> that, like a big ball, like a mm -hmm. big animal. <laughs> They're supposed to be calm, so most of the time they can be, but sometimes. But it depends, Penny. Might be my least favorite, only because she gets too rambunctious sometimes, but... Right. Oh! Oh, Penny! Oh, hold, watch out, sorry! I never, it's not like... She's, my actual least favorite is just she gets the most rambunctious, so it's like... You hate her the most. <laughs> I'm always worried she's gonna knock somebody over. Because they, they're good just a big girl. oaf. Oh, good girl! Good girl! Good girl! Good girl. So we've had a lot of different kinds of dogs. The the Bernice Mountain Dog has been far been our favorite dog. It's it's one. It's a big dog, so it's got that uh, lazy dog personality. Um, although Penny gets pretty excited when people come over, um, but she's very loving. I think the biggest thing is super loving dog, super loyal. Um, favorite part about Bernice, the breed, is that they are so affectionate and they are. Um, they're very, they have a very gentle spirit. Uh, my favorite would probably be either Haley or Millie because they're, they're the most uh, calm and they have the best attitude. And Millie's just really sweet and so she's a puppy. Puppies are always my favorite. Millie, you ready to go? Hey, Millie. You ready to go? I knew that when we had grandkids and we had company come over, that I didn't have to worry about um, them being aggressive. Um, I wanted just a dog that had inherently its nature to just be um, just a little bit more gentle and loving and kind. And They're really playful and kind. That that's and especially Murphy. He's really playful, and Penny is just too kind. And Haley's just sweet. What do you mean by too kind? Like, jumps all over you. <laughs> and like, won't leave you alone. Yeah. I kind of like the look of a long-haired dog a little more than some of the shorter-haired dogs. So, um, you do have to vacuum a lot and pick up the hair, but... I don't know, I think I love their personality, like the big dog look. They get to be about 100 pounds. They make great farm dogs, and that was important to us, like being here on the farm. We wanted to have a dog that mixed well with the other animals. So you'll see old school vid videos and pictures of Bernice pulling uh, wagons and carts and, and helping out on the farm. And so they're really known as a farm dog, which is what drew us to them. Um, we don't have them pulling wagons, but I think it'd be a good idea. <laughs> I think you gotta you gotta like the big, the large breed dog. They are, um, you know, they like to exercise, but they're not. They don't need to be. Um, they don't have to have a tremendous amount of exercise. You know, if you give them a good 30 minutes a day of, of getting to be to run around, you know, that's good for them. Um, they're not super hyperactive. So if you want a kind of a, a dog that's a lazy dog as it gets older, uh, that's, Bernice is a great dog. They, they don't start out that way, but as they mature, they become more of that lazy dog. Uh, we've taken them to the beach, and uh, I, the first time they went to the beach, they drank a bunch of salt water, and I think they got a little sick. Um, and, uh, but they love, they love the water. Uh, they're not really great swimmers, but they, are, they love the water. So they... Um, for whatever reason, uh, they're not like a lab where they um, will swim like a lab, but they, they'll get in the water and play. Uh, they, they kind of bounce around like a pogo stick. They don't, uh, uh, I wouldn't say that swimming comes as natural as it does for a lab. Well, if you have questions about a Bernice, um, leave it in the comment section below. We'll, we'll definitely try to get to those questions. 
And uh, if you want to know more about them, what their personalities are like, or if you just want to know, um, you know, how much they shed or any of that stuff, happy to answer it. Um, and, uh, and just to find out if it's the right dog for you. Are you a good girl? Yeah. 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 Good Haley. All right. So that's all we have for our video. We appreciate you watching. As always, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to like us on Facebook. We look forward to bringing these videos each and every week. And we'll do it as often as we can. And that's our, our video on Bernice Mountain Dogs. Uh, we hope that you love them as much as we do. And until next time, uh, we'll see you later. And have a great day. Um, a lot of chickens out there. Uh, what's well, been there? Murphy, no. Oh, yeah, was it? That. Yeah, I did it twice. Okay. Did you get any of that? <laughs> <laughs>